Well, could I be about to speak to perhaps the next big thing in Australian music? QPD, uh, a young New South Wales band who are uh, poised to release their debut album very soon, and I've heard it. It's a pretty bloody good album, actually, and the boys are from the Central Coast. Now, Kyle Pearce and Miles Bolch make up the band, and I've got Miles on the line tonight. G'day, Miles. G'day, Tim. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm really well, thanks. Thanks for joining us on the program. Tell us no a little problem. bit about this debut album of yours. It's called Yes or No, and it's got some pretty big names behind it helping you out uh, in the production of this. Tell us a bit about the album. Well, the album we recorded last September in, in Adelaide, um, and like I say, it's called Yes or No, and it's basically acoustic pop rock music, and we caught the attention of a producer by the name of Peter Blyton last year when we were playing a show in Sydney, and basically started a snowball effect, and we've got some heavyweights involved, and it's, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, really. I look and see words on the hill It's not impossible I just know I won't make the most of it So like, you, you have a, a similar story to a lot of up-and-coming bands. You were doing a, a bit of a, a pub circuit and, and supporting a few other acts as well and then you were picked up by the, by the producer. It must have been a dream come true. It was, it was pretty surreal, and it still kind of took like a year to actually sink in. Um, but basically, we were playing gigs around um, Sydney, the Northern Beaches, and we just entered a band competition, um, just, you know, play your own songs and do a half-hour set, that kind of vibe. And yeah, sure enough, in the crowd was a, was a music producer who approached us after the show, and we actually didn't even believe him when he approached. We were like, this can't happen. <laughs> but sure enough, yeah, a year and a bit down the track, we've... Got an album, and here I am talking to you, Tim. So it's going pretty well. It is amazing. I've got the album in my hand, so it is well and truly happening to you. <laughs> How old are you, boys? Uh, I'm 25, and Kyle's 23. And is it has this been the dream? The dream is to 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 record the album and to get out there and and fame and and fortune. That's definitely the dream. Uh, it's been our goal for a long time. Uh, we met at uni about five years ago, actually, uh, up in at Lismore, Southern Cross Uni. We were doing a music course there, and just started the idea of, of you know writing our own music and, and performing as a duo and we just stuck at it and, and here we are Someone once told me that music is all about girls. It's all about pulling the chicks. Is that why you stuck at it for so long? Uh, no, that's why we started. I just say. <laughs> not, not, not so much why we stuck at it. Uh, it basically, it turns out to be, you know, you find a thing you can do in life, and that, this is a thing that we do, and, and we're passionate about it, and, and we've just stuck at it, stuck it out. You know, we've had a few band changes and singers come and go and whatnot, but Kyle and I have just, you yeah, know, we've, the goal has been to, to play music and, and let people hear what we can write because we believe it, it can have an effect on people. So that, that's essentially why we do it. I love music, but I can't create it for the life of me, and it frustrates me because I love music right. so passionately. How do you go about creating a song? Um, well, it's a bit of a tough one. I mean, there's, no, there's no one way to do it. I mean, I've sat, sat down with Kyle, and within a half hour we've had a song finished, and another way I've, we've chipped away for six months on a song and it still isn't done um, I guess a bit of life experience and a bit of a bit of heartbreak now and again um, you know just thinking about whatever issues are on your mind at the time and you know obviously a bit of musical knowledge doesn't hurt can, know, I, can I pick you up on that um, the heartbreak point that you made I've noticed your, your lead single Hollywood yeah, it's a bit morbid the lyrics are a bit morbid um, well you know it's, it's real essentially that's all we, we <laughs> tried to do was write real lyrics and real music because well that's all we can do and it, it's not going to be successful if, unless people believe um, yeah. how it sounds and, yeah. and what it's about essentially so we, we can't write songs about you know dancing in poppy fields because we've never done that but we can write songs <laughs> about you know 
losing girlfriends or, yeah. or you know, going to the moon is one of the songs is. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of shot yourself in the foot there, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit, <laughs> little bit of fantasy is always, you're entitled to that, I suppose. And oh, I've got yeah. to say, Hollywood isn't a morbid song in itself, it's just the lyrics I've noticed. I didn't even realise until I opened up your little songbook there, and you've right. done what I wish a lot of musicians would do, you've, you've published the lyrics in the book. Now, we're about to play the, the lead single, uh, Miles, but t tell us a little bit, have you experienced any taste of fame or fortune yet? Uh, well, I wouldn't call it fame or fortune, but uh, things are starting to happen. I mean, we, were, we supported Rick Price um, mm. last, last weekend, actually, we, and that's, man, to support Rick Price is like... Phenomenal. It's like, it's, we, kind of, we kind of view we've made it in some way because he's such a hero and, yeah. and you know, he's always well in the genre that he writes and has performed over the years, you know, that's, that's kind of where we aim to be. Yeah, and talk about um, fantastic writing. I mean, you, you, uh, could, you could learn a lot from him. Exactly, man. And, and to, to play with someone like that, we got to hang out with him after the show and, you know, have a drink, and it's just... Uh, I guess that that's the same, I suppose. We got to sign a few CDs, you know, that was cool. I was just about to ask, uh, has anyone asked for your autograph yet? That, that does, does happen. I mean, not, not, not random people on the street, of course, but <laughs> at a gig, you know, we play a show, people buy a CD and they go, can you sign it, please? Of that's course. awesome. That, that's awesome. That, that, so that's pretty cool. Well, look, I'm really excited for you guys because I know the, the slog that you would have put into this and I know how much you've dreamt of this, even uh, just having the CD and putting it together and having it there. I, I bet when you held it for the first time, that was a special moment. It's a good feeling. It's yeah. a good feeling. At the moment, there's quite a few of those things happening. You know, um, even talking on the radio is it, it, sort of has been a dream too. So. Yeah. And getting played on radio in, in any form is, is really cool. So. And a lot of people say talking to me is a bit of a dream as well. So. <laughs> You've fulfilled a lot of things tonight there, Miles. There we go. That, that, that box is ticked. Yeah, exactly. Look, thanks for your time tonight. We're going to play the, I believe, am I right in saying this is the lead single, Hollywood? That's true, yeah. We've got a film clip for that one up on our website. Uh, wow. Tippedemusic.com.au. And, yeah, this is the first single, Hollywood, yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm going to play that. Now, by the way, I... I I think the best track on the album is Land of Dreams, personally. Oh, That's yeah, my right. one. There you go. Yeah, there's cool. a, there's there a vote for Land of Dreams. Uh, but look, for now, a bit of Hollywood. Thanks for your time, Miles. No problem, Tim. No problem at all. Appreciate it, and good luck with it. This is Hollywood. You finally found my thing Lost them long ago Again. If this is the way I go, I would feel better if I let you know that I am Superman. You cannot break me. Your power.
it's time to talk.